guys and he, he put them on a distribution deal. Then yes. eight years later, he closed out a deal and got $288 million off of these guys' talent. My thing yes. is, if we start yes. educating and people start listening, that they could see that you could go do that your own and go walk in eight years and go close those type of deals. It's possible for people that yes. look like us to do that. So my yes. thing is, you know, start knowing your self-work. That's what I love about your dad. He knew his self-work and he didn't mm -hmm. mind taking his time, getting to where he needed to be at till he could build up to controlling the narrative. And that's what he did yes. with the companies that he had. And I think people, when they talk about ownership, you're also talking about uh, having trust, being able, yes. to, being able to build an atmosphere where everybody can be successful, everybody can be a part of the team. Because I think as us, as African-Americans, there's a lot of self-hate to where you don't want to see somebody outdo you. And I look at yes. all, the, all the people that I didn't help. If I ever came back to them, you know, now they got financial advisors, they got all these people. I've never had that. When I've always been the boss to where I, if I wanted to help somebody, I'm mm -hmm. going to help them, I'm going to pull them up. And yeah. I think that's what I love about owning your own business and being your own boss, because you could do what you want to do. Now, mm -hmm. if you're thinking like a worker because you're uneducated, because they got some people that got a lot of money but still live like workers because they uneducated. Mm -hmm. Wisdom yeah. and knowledge is what we need to take our game to the next level. And that's what I love what Reginald Lewis did. He, he learned the business yeah. from being a lawyer. He understood yeah. that so he know everything that he needed the legal way to know. But he, but he yeah. took time to realize mm -hmm. when he got into the grocery business, how to acquire your, all those other brands inside of that grocery system. And that's yes. what I'm saying, being able to think and understand and see beyond what they want us to see. Because I look at famous Amos. I mean, it's a guy that had yes. it all that could, I mean, they sold his company for $2.6 billion. And I don't even think he got a couple million dollars. In, yeah. in which that's a sad case because I look up to this guy. I mean, he created something from scratch. And that's what they do. They take our, our, our ideas and we sell out before we get an opportunity to really see the fruits of these yes. ideas. Yeah, uh, it is. There's some really sad stories about, um, about successful entrepreneurs, successful inventors yes. who, um, you know, who weren't, uh, you know, who didn't cap, who, who weren't able to, who lost control Yes. Of, their, of their businesses and it can feel so unfair as black people so because um, my dad was Reginald Lewis and had this book why should white guys have all the fun I've been speaking to you know black business people like my yes. whole life my whole life and so I've heard I've heard a lot about how um, how hard it is to get respect how hard it is to employ people yes um and how uh you know, how hard it is to find lawyers that you can trust, accountants that you can yes. trust. And, you know, with someone like Famous Amos, you know, he, uh, you know, he was the inventor, right? Yes. He's, he's the cookie guy. And one of the things is that often that person does end up, um, does end up, uh, you know, screwed, to be honest. Yes. And not just black people. You know, it, yes. it happens actually to, to the inventors a lot. The business mm -hmm. people like come in. So it's important for people like you, you know, Master Pete, to be that mentor and, and to, uh, to come and help people who are artists, yes. you know, because not everyone cares about making a lot yes. of money. Just like you said, some people, you know, should have jobs and should work. Yes. Not everyone should be a known, you know, not everyone wants to be a businessman and become yes. super rich. And that's great, too. But what they yes. should have is respect, yes. you know, and too often black people haven't been treated with respect and be around people that they trust so they can make their art. You know? yes. and, and that's why businessmen like you, you know, like my dad, and like the many other fans of Why Should White Guys Have All the Fun you yes. know, are so important because you can be there in the community to give that advice. Well, my, say, well wait a yeah. yeah, my thing is our people have to be able to trust the process and be able to look at people like us and say, okay, if we willing to give that advice to you, accept it and, and, and don't act like you know everything. That was my greatest script. Mm -hmm. I don't know everything. If I don't know something, I'm gonna find somebody that do, but I'm gonna trust their judgment 
but I'm also going to keep educate myself because I need to learn. I want to keep educate myself. I want to know more. And I think that's what yes. the successful people is. They are always students of the game. Some of these yes. people think that they are know-it-alls and just because they have a little money and they don't realize, mm -hmm. yeah, anybody can get money. But I think when you understand even what white guys have been through in the, the, the circle they put around them, when they lose it, they get back up. They have friends that can help them get back up. But us, we laugh at each other. We talk about each other, not knowing that that person is a hustler. You know they're going to get back up. But it's, it's harder for a black man to get back up, knowing mm -hmm. that. But my whole thing is what I feel like I'll never lose because I got a billion dollars worth of knowledge. And if you mm -hmm. feel like you have a billion dollars worth of knowledge, you're always learning to get better. And so everything is a learning lesson. It's not a loss. Yes. And so that's how I look at life. I don't look at it like, oh, I might lose in this. You know, uh, uh, I might lose over there, but I'm not looking, I'm saying, okay, maybe I lost this little money to get better, to understand this. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, don't just jump in the stock market if you don't know, start with a little money. Yeah. If mm -hmm. you wanna go buy a house, buy a smaller house before you go buy a bigger house. And so mm -hmm. you, can, you can learn on the way. And I just mm -hmm. think we have to start thinking plain chess yeah. instead of checkers because athletes yeah. and entertainers what they teach us is oh yeah well they pamper you and show you that you're successful but then they yeah. take it away from you because they know you don't have the education and that's how these financial mm -hmm. advisors and all these other you know agents or whatever if you don't know their job so i tell people I, I, I realize this if you're going to be successful you need to learn everybody's job if you're going to be the mm -hmm. boss <laughs> you need true. to know everybody's job. That's true. Because everybody's important. Yeah, that's true. Um, and that's why being the boss isn't for everyone because yes. it's hard to learn everyone's job. So um, for P I wanted to say that you know I'm a you no know, I'm on Instagram at, at the Christina nine nine and yes. for people I see a lot of people mm -hmm. commenting that they've read Why Should White Guys Have All the Fun and they're yes. buying the book. Thank you. Um, so on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing something funny, which is I'm cleaning out my attic 